Hello world, welcome to the Women of BSV. Today we are delighted to meet Razvan Petra, our guest, the CEO of Token Pow. He will teach us how artists can monetize their content in the new world of NFTs. And we're also honored to learn from him and hear more of his story. So welcome, Razvan. Hi, thank you very much for inviting me. I, it's an honor, to be honest, and uh, I'm looking forward to teach you what I know and to show you around the website and uh, just have a, a chat ar around NFTs, uh, around the BSV, Bitcoin, and everything else. Thank you. That sounds lovely. Yeah, that does. I'm really excited to find out how to make this all work and look so pretty as well. So. Yes, definitely. So can I ask you a question then? Can sure. like Raz, how how did you start in Bitcoin? Well, you know, I started like uh, sort of like uh, a lot of people in the we I heard from a colleague that was a bit geeky, a friend that uh, and he told me one day about uh, hey there is this uh, cryptocurrency Bitcoin and uh, maybe you want to buy some and I say, well, what is this? And uh, he kind of explained, I didn't understand, uh, but he told me it's a, it's a hundred bucks. He said, you can buy it for a hundred. And, uh, and so I this said, was quite uh, a while ago. It's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. this was uh, 2014 maybe or 13. I don't remember exactly. And then I, I kind of, uh, I didn't believe him. I told him it's a scam. That was the first thing uh, I, I thought about it. And then I told him I'll buy it at one. And then uh, uh, it went to 200 to 300. And then I think the Mount Gox happened. And he went back to 100. And uh, he told me again. Uh, and said, hey, it's still not $1. You know, I'm not going to buy it now. I'm just waiting. <laughs> and then, of course, of course, uh, then uh, 2016, 17 came. He went to 20,000. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's where I, what when I started to research a little bit to see what is this because it was obviously uh, not a, a scam. And then uh, yeah, I started uh, by researching. I got into this uh, let's say uh, block uh, block dispute, and I started to understand what's going on really. Then the Bitcoin Cash happened, and the the fork with the B, uh, BSV happened. And then at some point, uh, I realized uh, what's the real Bitcoin around 2018, I think. And uh, then the only question was, what do I do? Like, am I going to just buy and hold and hope to something happen or I just uh, uh, get involved? And then uh, eventually, after another year, I, I got involved and I, I started uh, learning about it and uh, and developing, and uh, and then I thought that uh, this NFT world is kind of exciting, and uh, I, I liked it uh, the the way uh, let's say uh, other chains are doing uh, let's say the business, not so much the the technical side, but the business. I uh, thought so that OpenSea and uh, Rarible and uh, other sites like this are really uh, exciting as a business model. So I decided to get involved and uh, build something. And, are you uh, are you an artist as well? No, yourself. No, I'm not an artist. I come from a, more of a like uh, information technology background. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, just uh, not an. But artist. you're my... close with artists. Yes, yes. I, I like art. I like uh, one of my best friends uh, is a violinist. Mm. And he's a uh, he's a concertmeister in uh, I think uh, in Charlotte in the U.S. And uh, we were together all the time playing. And I remember in, uh, in Romania, when we were kids, I was going to concerts with him. And I was always, I always liked the, the music, the classical music, especially, uh, and paintings. But I, I never had the talent to actually paint something. Or maybe I have it, I need to try again. I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> great. And music is very relevant to information technology. So did you play an instrument as well? 
Uh, piano, a little bit of piano. My my father was a really good uh, piano player. He was playing uh, jazz. I remember that uh, in communist times in Romania, the, we only had a few hours of electricity a night. Uh, like, uh, for example, from 8 to 10 in the evening, there was electricity, and then it was just, uh, they cut it off, it was dark. And uh, we would put candles around the piano. We had the piano, and he would play uh, Gejvin. And uh, an American in Paris, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. He will, uh, and he would play, and then, uh, I mean, you know, these were dark times in, in the communist times, you know? And mm. just, by, but just by putting some candles and playing uh, piano, it was a different thing, right? A different world, so. Beautiful. Are, so did... Where did, did you used to sing at the piano as well? Sorry. <laughs> did did you all you sing reach? at the piano as well? Or just... Uh, yeah, a, a yeah. little bit, but I never reached the... So my, my father, at some point, uh, hired a teacher, and uh, I, I did a few years of piano when I was a kid. But yeah, my father was just talented. He he would play any instrument. He would, uh, he would play uh, drums, he would play trumpet. Uh, yeah, I don't have his talent. He, he was great. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, all pre-internet. We had to make different uh, entertainment back then, didn't we? Yes, it's crazy. Imagine a place where you have just two hours of television a day. Yeah. When an hour and a half is with the great leader, right? So what the great leader did. And um, there's just one channel. And then uh, there is nothing else. So you need to, you know, find, uh, find you need ways to... to to it wasn't that to have conversations. It wasn't <laughs> that different in the UK, was it? Because we used to have just remember it's like BBC One and BBC Two, did he? We're old enough to remember those yeah. days. <laughs> and the test cards yeah, would and come you used on. To get the test card, like, the little girl with girl with a test card yeah. when it was and and that's it, the, the end of the like, Yeah, there's <laughs> no more TV for now. Time to go to bed. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. And turn your electric off, yeah. But we, we, we were a bit more lucky. We didn't have, like, a, a minimal of two hours. At least we had a little yeah. bit longer than that. But, yeah. But, I mean, one of it is is saying, it's like, well, you know, that forces you to have a conversation with people mm. and actually, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, play card games or something or a board game or something, you know, or, or like you say, stand around have the a piano and or sing along. Yeah, it's completely. Yeah, that's what we're just, doing uh, all the time, uh, socialising out with uh, my friends. I don't remember sitting in front of the TV like these days. I see the kids no, watching Netflix. Yeah. There was no such thing, you know. Like no, no, no. Yeah. They're, they're, they're very much, yeah, 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 very much sucked into the television these days. It's, uh, uh, when did you get into computers? Did you have a computer from a young age, or is it something you came to as an adult? Ah, yeah, I'm a, my first computer was uh, in a school. Now we had these mainframe computers where you have to, oh, yeah. you have these uh, cards and you put holes oh, in punch the cards. cards. Mm -hmm. punch yeah, cards. punch cards. And yeah. then you, 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 you write like a Hello World program and you have like this, a deck full of cards and you fit it in and then it just says Hello World, you know. My dad used the, to collect those. I had, yeah, yeah, had yeah. thousands of them with a, uh, and they used to print different designs on them, a bit like stamps or something. They're, yeah. you know, almost collectible anyway. Yeah, they are. It's now, could you it. make an NFT out of those? Yeah, I bet you could, and yeah. then you could send them a market for them, especially in information technology. Could make a back physical backed NFT, all right? And you you yeah. you, you certify that is uh, really from that time, and uh, I would I would say probably would have a value. Mm. Nice. So, so what what made you decide to to build an nft gallery i mean obviously you said, sort of mentioned about the creative side there's the music and the art and now i always kind of feel that they kind of come as one they're not two separate mm. beings they kind of mesh into one and then obviously integrating that to an in, in information technology but where did the idea of you specifically building an nft gallery come from well just watching what's happening uh, you know you're watching this uh, open sea and rarible and uh, and uh, realizing that Probably in the in the future everything will be a token, and uh, NFT or not, uh, the world will tokenize. So I thought this is a good introduction to the tokenized world. Mm. And maybe in the future there will be other business models that uh, you know I'm going to get involved into. But this was just like a first uh, taste of the tokenized world, and it's it's kind of easy to. Um, 
to see it because right now I, I believe we are the uh, use cases we're not even uh, grasping because we are just starting. It's like mm. it's like when, when the internet started, we couldn't see that what we're going to do these days, right? Uh, streaming videos and doing this uh, crazy stuff, you know. So mm. right now we're just at the yeah incipient uh, stage of mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, let's make a picture and we put it there and we call it an NFT. And uh, this is just the beginning of tokenized world, I think. Kindergarten. Yes, exactly. We're just yeah. playing now, but, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. it's becoming more and more exciting. I, I, I think mm. uh, you can see it in Bitcoin is becoming more and more exciting. Uh, what's happening right now. It's, it's so fast, everything. I know. It's like the world's gone into high speed or something, isn't it? Fast mm. forward. It's bizarre. Yes. Yeah. yeah, sometimes and I find it very difficult to keep up with what's going on in the spaces and because there's so much development as well now. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. That just just this week it was this these guys from uh the TS swap, you know, the Oh the mm, token so, swap. Yeah. yeah, the token swap. I mean yeah, the, that's the latest, greatest thing, isn't it? Everybody's just uh, trying to understand what they're doing, uh, how uh, how does it work, and it's crazy. And and they came out of nowhere basically. And mm. just out of interest, what's your take on that? Do you are you into the DeFi thing or oh, because you I'm must? Yeah, Sorry. I'm playing with it, but it's definitely uh, yeah. I mean, the, we have to uh, have a evolution in finance. It's it's time to to go away from this uh, very old model of bank banking and bank banksters and and everybody looking at them like they know something special which they don't i think i worked many many years in finance and and i know that uh, there is no magic behind it no. and uh, you know peer-to-peer uh, -peer payments and uh, DeFi. this is the future i think well, I, I get the impression that the uh, banking system often is even running on old tech and old versions of, uh, you know, Windows and things like that in order just to keep the legacy system running. I mean, it's kind of getting creaky in some cases, isn't it? So exactly. certainly uh, all of it needs overhauling in some respects. Uh, anyhow, Diddy, you, I, you're going to show us the actual website. Sorry. Rory, go on. Oh, go ahead. Yes, I, I had a couple questions. Uh, one, I did see your background. You worked in banking in the past. Yeah. And uh, so I'm curious about your experience there. And then also, what was your thought process in recognizing what was what in the Bitcoin world? Well, with the, with the banking world, uh, I can tell you it's nothing exciting. It's a uh, shark, it's shark, you know, uh, basically when you work there. And uh, um, I have good memories that I made some friends, but uh, work itself is nothing uh, too exciting. Uh, the only exciting day was the bonus day. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> And then another year of uh, fighting uh, in a shark infested waters and then another mm. bonus day. And yeah, I mean, this is, this is the old world, you know? Wow. <laughs> well, it's yeah. nice thought that we could maybe democratize that a bit and bring those bonus days down to, you know, uh, our level a bit or a bit closer to our level, if not, yeah, you know, share that. the wealth a little bit. Yeah, let's, let's share, and and I think there is unlimited potential for for everybody to have a decent life. We don't mm. need to have this super rich and super poor, and we we could all live very well and very decent without working twelve hours a day, right? So definitely, mm. yeah. Do do these tokens include sound, or are they yes, just visuals? Please. Oh, I mean, there are two. Sorry. We can uh, we can create uh, tokens. We're using two protocols, so two different types. There is the money button ones, and there is the yeah. run ones. Yeah. And, uh, so I I specifically um, want to concentrate on the money button one to start with, if that's okay. And yeah, like, sure. Like, and we, you know, I've got. I mean, I can for I could email them to you, and it might be easier if you did it for us, um, your end, because my PC is really slow at the moment. Um, so there's some paintings 
um, which I told you about in Twitter earlier, which I could send to you and you mm -hmm. could do a collection for Rory and a collection for myself just to show us how that works with the money button. And then okay. we've also got, um, there is like a, well, I was saying, there was a 12 second video that I uploaded on chain, which is a women of BSV, but it's 12 seconds, but it's like a thank you card. Um, so I'm interested to know how also, so, so first let's talk about how, if we wanted as the women of BSV to have a thank you card that we sent to everybody who'd been on the show as an NFT, how could we do that? So you can uh, use token pow to mint uh, one of the run uh, let's say run enabled uh, nfts oh, and then you can attach the video uh, as an asset let's say to the nft so can can I you can only show do you the... I mean, it's easier to yeah, me yeah. if i show you did he yeah, yeah, definitely just yeah? to say if we wanted yeah? to mint it as women of bsv i can i've got it open now and I'm oh, well, logged okay. in with our Women of BSV wallet. So okay. if you want so to email do, them do you... to me, I could maybe do it. Okay, so do you, well, you can just, they're in the Gmail, so you can just go to a Gmail and they're in the Gmail. Um, so there's two images from me and there's two images from Rory. And also, if you remember, and this will be in the Gmail somewhere, I sent you the on-chain transaction, um, the Earl, for the video upload. It's in the Women of BSV Gmail as well, so you could search it. So did because it actually I'm... upload okay? Yeah, yeah, the whole video is uploaded onto the blockchain via Bico Media. So it's oh. a 4K and it's like an MP4 and it's about 12 seconds and it's got some music on it and a bit of animation with it. So if we can figure out how to upload that, um, and and so, can you only upload videos onto Run? Yes, uh, the, with the money button is more like a token. You know, okay. you just have a logo and that's it. But okay. with Run, uh, with Run, you can also add the assets, which okay. assets can be basically can be a video, can be a high resolution picture, can be basically anything. Documents also, certificate of authenticity, if you want, can be anything. So you can't. You can't do that on money button then. So you can only do tokenization on money button, but you can't do NFT on money button. Yeah, it's right. You know, money button is just like a more like a token, and uh, more like just a logo, and then uh, yeah, it's not okay. so developed. Let's say it's just okay. uh, just like a token. Okay, so if if we wanted women of BSV tokens, we could mint those on Money Button. Yeah, because Money Buttons has all the financials there, and you can, you know. Um, okay. And it's easy That's to use for beginners, you know. Like for beginners, it's easy. It's easier. It's easier, yeah. and it actually works uh, pretty well. Okay. We run. Uh, we have some problems with because of the the load of the on the run servers. You know, the infrastructure problem so, is yeah, BSV so works so well that uh, all the applications are struggling <laughs> because, because the servers, why is that? yeah yeah i see because that was <laughs> the, the same with crypto fights as well there was no problem with the bsa the engine yeah. at all for the game um for the fights or anything but the actual servers themselves that the company have got for the rest of the stuff is is like they're struggling so they're having to upgrade all the servers mm. i heard that Several wow. times with several people which is great because that's a testament to say you know how good bsv actually is you know and mm -hmm. how not so good legacy servers are <laughs> yeah normally uh, normally okay. developers they we have the excuse always ah the database is uh, you know the bottleneck or mm -hmm. something mm. there but mm. this time i mean it's us, you know, it's our application. It's not uh, the blockchain. Blockchain works. Yeah. It just works yeah. like like these guys say, you know, like uh, because I, I don't, I didn't go in just believing them. I try to see if it works and it just works. I mean, and it does, yeah. 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 So. Yes. And That's what great. was your process at that time when had you heard about the, the big blocker debate and all of that back yes, years yes, ago? Uh, yeah, I was, hash uh, I was watching, uh, like watching a telenovela, you know, like, uh, 
Yes. <laughs> Just seeing what they say, uh, trying to understand what they are saying. Then uh, I saw Craig a few times and I didn't understand much because he was so advanced, you know. Uh, and then I had to watch again and again. And then I started to understand what he's implying, you know. And then at some point, it was just obvious for everybody that uh, they have eyes and uh, brain, functioning brain, that, uh, you know, he's the one and that he invented this technology and he knows much more about this technology than anybody else on the planet. Mm. So, mm. For, I mean, for me, it was obvious. I don't know. Yeah, for me, it's obvious. Even now, I mean, if you watch, uh, he does these uh, videos which he explains the different uh, technical areas. Even yes. now, I mean, it's mind blowing. I mean, uh, even now I have to watch it a few times uh, to understand some of the I things. So. <laughs> it is, it's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> He's so far yeah. ahead of everyone else. It's ridiculous, Yeah, isn't it? it's ridiculous. He's a genius, yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody, everybody should just thank him for what he did and they stop attacking him, you know, like he's just, yeah. just thank him. That's right. Here, here. Oh, and I he's see. also a great That's dancer, one. too. Well, this I don't know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know he's a great dancer? Oh, the video. Coin Geek. The video, yeah, Coin Geek. of course. Yeah. Are you guys going to Coin Geek uh, New York? No, it, just virtually. virtually. Well, I mean, it, it's on in New York, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. We, we, I don't think we can get there, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'll be there. Ah, because you are all in the UK, right? So... Well, Rory isn't. But, yes, uh, Casey and I are in I the am. States. Yes, but we are uh, going virtually. I just yes. saw a video this morning of all the New Yorkers walking through the subways chanting, fuck Joe Biden, fuck Joe Biden. <laughs> 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 We're seeing the rise of New York, finally. That would make a good NFT. <laughs> yeah, it would. If you if you have a good design with that, that would... that's not a bad thought because yeah. I mean Come there are a lot of these video clips actually that could do with preserving and and being mm -hmm. you know censorship resistant. That that's a thought, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you could do something like a let's say like a historical series, like just uh, every day there is some event that happens, right? So. Mm. one could do a series of NFTs just to get that day. And then you have the whole year, 360 NFTs for each day, you know, some maybe political events or maybe, you know, stuff like this. Just That's immortalized it. on a blockchain you know, in an NFT. This is what happened today. That's a really good idea. But like the, the front of a newspaper showing a kind of also. photograph of the newspaper. Yeah. Or maybe the, Looking for up. example, was uh, what was two days ago the Nicki Minaj uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, yes, that would, yeah. That would make a good, uh, you know, good NFT. Point. It's you know, uh, or or Biden falling asleep or whatever, you know, just another <laughs> NFT. <laughs> you could do a daily on that too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's the a very gaff. very clever idea, actually. But yeah, I was thinking. You, you know, I, I just had an idea, Ruth. With uh, mm. you have a famous quote, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness, you you yes, could make an NFT out of that. Like, you know, that's, I that's so I've amazing. been propositioned about that already. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Um, I just it's it's a tricky one. I, I feel they're your words. It's your copyright. I know. It's yeah. It's you. People, but it's all. But what's your moral philosophy. idea? Who are you talking to, Rory? Ruth. Who are you asking? Oh, what, what, what stops me from doing? Yes. Me? Have you seen all? The uh, just that the are idea available? of uh, making money. Uh, Ruth, I'm, not, I'm go, never go, very comfortable with making money. Which go to stupid. IKEA and look at all the paintings that are available, which are just literally quotes. Yeah, I suppose. You but know. Ruth, think about it from Although the point cards. of view, Ruth, the mm -hmm. point of view of history. History, Ima yeah, you're making Im imagine, history. Uh, imagine 20 years from now. I mean, this is a quote that is going to live forever, you know? So, There's a story behind this quote This is a history. Well. There's so much here. Yeah, there's so much behind it. Like, a little bit of hyperbole going on here, but okay. I, 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 no I'm, way, it's true. I, no, I know what you mean. I, I, it's a fun idea, and I think from that perspective, perhaps we should just do it. Um, yeah, you should, and, 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 and DIY, too. Yeah. 
I mean, how many likes have you had on that? On that, and how many times has it been retweeted to have the likes taken away from it and then be retweeted and then be rewritten by several other people in different, you know, slightly different formats because they're paying homage to you by imitating you. Well, you know, and as I say, there's a whole story behind this. You could make a film out of just your quote tweet. <laughs> well, look here, I have the only print in existence this is what um satoshi doodles did I love it that. has the quote written on it you probably can't read it from there yeah, but so cool. um yeah oh, I mean, so you have it should, preserved well perhaps i should do it in association with satoshi doodles yeah oh so use you use her could, image you use that image then and we then could both profit 50 50 maybe yeah. So yeah, it? that's another thing as well then. So like with with in Money Button, obviously, when you do things say like with Streamanity, um, you can split off payments to individual people. And the same with I know you can do this in Money Button. So can you do this with the tokens as well then? You can't. Because that's actually where the, the royalty thing comes in. Can you do that with tokens? With uh you mean with money button or with uh, no suppose... what you're saying is just tokens rather than NFTs. Is that what you're trying to say, Diddy? Well, in Money Button, I've seen several times if you've got something um that say five people have had an involvement in, then the payment is split off to those five separate people. And that's a, a thing that I've seen several times in Money Button where you so know transaction splitting. Yeah, yeah. So, can you do that with tokens? Because obviously, that's these, ha wouldn't but, it be, um, uh, you know, what Satoshi's always talking about? It would be, uh, a, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, a security. If, if you were to create a token and then charge money for it, isn't that then borderline bordering on the not well, so no, good. yeah, that's what I'm well, legally speaking. Yeah. So that's how I'm like, where's the mark? The, the trading on the market comes in, then it's like, you know, we as the people that are giving a token out, i.e., for example, this money, this women of BSV, we're going to offer some kind of service for it, or you could come on to the show, etc. But if people trade that on an open market, like. Well, that's sort of the problem with Ethereum and Solana and all these other things, isn't it? Is that they are securities uh, and they perhaps shouldn't be being traded on the open market. I guess, you know, they've yet to come down see, hard on it. That's but. where I'm thinking, you see, that, that is that, that's like, oh, we're not breaking any kind of laws in that respect, but because that's an individual who has been given something and then they're wanting to kind of make money out of it. So it's like trading cards that used to be packs of cards, like, you know, what's those? It's not okay if it's, if it's an NFT, and this basically you're selling some art, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the but tokens so that have no utility, mm. unless you actually attach it some way to something in the real world, like a good or a service, service. or an hour yeah. of someone's time, or yeah. But the token mm -hmm. itself, if it does nothing, if it has no function, you, you're having to somehow attach it to something in the real world to mm. give it value. Mm. Oddly enough, uh, Razvan, I own a business uh, called Performance Ticket Printers, and we print tickets and vouchers. So I've been doing this, but physically in the physical world for donkey's mm -hmm. years now. So, uh, you know, selling vouchers is fine as long as they are uh, being, you know, like a ten pound voucher has a ten pound value in their business. Then that's that's perfectly legal. Um, uh, but you know, you 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 couldn't sell something in the hope that it appreciates in value. Uh, but does nothing and relates to nothing in the world. So, Go well, on, Rasmin. You set us straight on this because I'm sure you understand it better than we do because you've set up the business. Yeah, I think uh, this is true, actually, that if it has a utility and if it has something that you can attach it in real world, it is difficult to make the argument the security. So, of course, yeah. it kind of depends from country to country, right? So yeah. you could go to U.S. in some state and get in trouble. And you could be perfectly fine in Switzerland or in UK. But I think uh, that's, a, let's say, a thumb uh, rule to, to, to attach it to some uh, real value and to have some utility. 
Mm. Uh, otherwise, if you just create something and you say, okay, now buy it and I promise you that I will do this or that, then uh, I think it's it's borderline uh, like a security and you can get in trouble. Mm. So mm. it sounds a lot like the difference between Bitcoin SV and then everything else, all the so-called shite coins. <laughs> as they call them mm. and i call them now i guess uh because those are simply pie in the sky buy this and you'll get it's rich like in the hope that it'll go up in value and nothing yeah, else yeah. right yeah. but it has no utility yeah. to it right. so there's nothing whereas bitcoin sv has all the utility well, to it, build yeah. the whole digital world on it purchases the the processing power and the and the room on the ledger and the yeah the capabilities that BSV has and and the way it was issued as well makes a difference doesn't it we we need Satoshi to explain this one really because that, so that good makes at it. a huge difference mm. because yeah uh, why so that that's why in the naming convention of your token then you would put something make sure that they in capital letters you know this is a voucher or if you know ten yeah. percent discount that's or, right. That's this fine. this gives you like one token is the value equivalent to the value of 30 minutes of somebody's time yeah 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 it has to be explicitly for something mm. i think we should do that initially. represents the amount that was paid for it yeah if you've got a token you can either be like like you could get us as guests on your show or be a guest on our live stream <laughs> <laughs> yeah why not Oh dear. Okay. Um, has anyone got any more questions? Because we should probably let Razan go. Yeah, I want to know how to make make a collection. Like, is did 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 you do that? Is that how literally with the women of BSV that that now that is we automatically have a connect a collection that we can no. add anything to. No, right now the collections are like let's say per customer basis. So I have to know who I'm talking to. And then I can give them the role of a partner, and then they can create their own collections as many okay. as they want. Then they oh, don't brilliant. need approval for the auctions. Okay. Normally, so, if you if you're not a partner, I approve. I have to approve the auction because I don't want uh, strange pictures or something that. Uh, oh, no, that's a good point. Yeah, mm, yeah exactly. Or, so I don't hate pictures or anything mm -hmm. like that. I want to keep it clean, right? Mm -hmm. So then I approve. But if I'm a partner, if I know, for example, I know you guys, I know you right now. So then mm -hmm. you can put up auctions and uh, without me approving. Okay, that's great. I just so, trust you. So yes. I've got about 10% battery left on my phone. But, um, this so is the, very... Oh, oh, sorry. Go I ahead, to say, so, so the email that I've sent you, I've sent you two of my images and two of Rory's images. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you could approve myself and Rory our own collections. Yeah, exactly. Oh, awesome. thank you. So I've sent you those then. <laughs> if Good. I'd like to do that when run is up and running. That would be absolutely fantastic. I will do that and I will also mean for you the nft that you were trying to do oh that would be awesome oh, yeah be and, no i'm uh, quite excited about that because it is like a little short video but it's got some sound and, on it and you think the sound will work as well yeah yes. everything will work oh that's Great. brilliant because yeah. i have music <laughs> like i do at least like one track that i could upload which is my mr right track which you know i want to yeah. i want to see how NFT how that fares yeah yeah definitely. that's a good idea um, and maybe we could put that under the Women of BSV collection, you know. Mm. Maybe I can work on something that sounds a bit better and a bit more boppy. Um, but yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Because okay, so I will, music I will do that. One. Yeah, I will do that. I will try to do it this weekend. Let's see how it goes with my mom around. So what and, we uh, then need thank to do... Thank you. Oh, bless you. No rush. Um, so then what we then need to do is to make sure that Razvan has a copy of each and every single NFT so that he is an owner of that to say thank you for your work and effort of giving us a collection and doing all the hard work for us and uploading it. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. It was a real pleasure and I was just really happy to be here, you know, with you. 
Now we're we're, we're going to have fun editing this. I think it's going to be difficult to get it yes, down yes. to uh, so it all makes sense. But um, thank you for coming on, Razvan. It's an absolute delight. Um, I love your site. I think we're all going to have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. And um, hopefully, thank you so much. Yeah, help to advertise it and, and put out the good word about it. So um, I'm sure yes. people are going to get super into it. Yeah. In no yes. Time. And. I hope you can come back on again soon. We can yeah. have a follow-up discussion. Yeah. Oh, me too. I, I loved it and I would be happy to come you. up anytime. <laughs> what was Casey saying? I was just going to say this is a pleasure to learn this and meet you today. And I really look forward to playing with it as well. So thank you again. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hit the end button now. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming on, Razvans. Absolutely thank awesome. You. Well, Bye, guys. Bye. Happy Hello. weekend. Um, Hello and welcome back to uh, Women of BSV with Razvan from Token Pal. So we had a part one and now we have a part two. And Razvan and Token Pal were mentioned at the CoinGeek conference recently. And Raz is going to show Casey how to open an account and talk us through how his wonderful site actually works and how it can help artists. How are you doing, Raz? Good. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me again. And uh, yeah, I'm really grateful for this. And uh, like you said, uh, we are part of uh, CoinGeek New York. It was a great, great experience. We are bronze sponsor there. We, we had, uh, uh, let's say, opportunity to meet uh, many people and uh, had some uh, private meetings with them. And everybody is very excited about the NFT space. And uh, yeah, they are looking forward to better tools and better user experience. And we all want uh, to become, uh, you know, uh, like OpenSea or like one of these variable sites or to, 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 to be better than them and to, to be a big success for the whole space. That, that's the goal. So good ambition moving forward. Yes, yes. and to, to get some excitement in the space, to get people that are not in BSV, to even get some uh, some people from Ethereum to switch to us and you know be become the the standard. That's all we want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is the way. This is I think so. I think this is the way. We we have a hell of a lot of fight to do, but yes, and work actually. Yes. And your um, platform itself as well. We've got physical backed art on there as well. It's just um, digital NFTs, haven't we? So this is a, a great opportunity for a lot of artists that are out there as well that are listening to this show. So would you like to show us around your beautiful platform? If yes, I just sure. Um, I will be happy to. Can you see my screen now? I yes. can see your screen, definitely. Good. So I will just log out. And uh, so basically, as a new user, you are just uh, coming to this platform. You will see on the front page and right in the middle here, the collections that are future. We have this concept of collection for each uh, artist or for each, uh, let's say, gallery to have their own collections. And then a bit lower, you'll see the individual, let's say, auctions going on, individuals NFT. And this is so a we, infinite. These are live auctions at the moment. Then everything that you see on the gallery at the moment. This is these are all the live auctions. Yes, these are the live auctions right here. And in the galleries, uh, yeah, you, you go inside the gallery, right? And this is all uh, infinite scroll. So as you scroll down, you see more and more, right? Yeah. Um, if you upload an artwork, what's the limit to your platform? Is there a limit to the platform? The limit for what? So, um, so it, within that gallery itself, with the the flick knives that are in the box shape, um, how many? But there is no limit. There's no limit to you it. Can, okay. No, because as you can see, we are basically loading, uh, let's say, eight auctions per page. And as you go uh, lower, you load more. So, yeah, it's called infinite scrolling. So you you don't uh, basically overload the server loading everything. Only the the users needs to see more, then we load more, right? And what's the limit of the file size? There is also no limit uh, because uh, at the moment, if we go, I'm gonna log in. I, I can show you. So a new user comes here, logs in, and then uh, 
provided it has a money button account, it just clicks mm -hmm. on the money button uh, button and then uh, logs in. And then automatically by just logging in, the user gets a wallet. Yeah, you get your profile here. Yeah, yeah. And okay. if you go to your profile, you will see that you have already a run owner address. So you get, a, a, let's say, a wallet that supports uh, run uh, jigs. And uh, yeah, you get uh, basically also a BSV wallet because you can receive rewards here. Yes. You can receive rewards when you share your links. You can receive 20% uh, well, of our commission. So oh, basically, you, you, you're you going to receive rewards here. And what, uh, what is and, that? You say that's 20%, up to 20% now? Well, it is because, uh, for example, if you go to an auction, let's say we go to this one. I have here a button called share. Mm. So if I click on the share button, mm -hmm. I will get a custom link that's only, uh, uh, let's say, my link. And if I uh, share this around and somebody comes with this link and uh, clicks buy now or wins the auction, then we will share the commission with the one who shared the link. I absolutely love all the incentives that are in this ecosystem. It's so awesome. <laughs> yes, that's how we need to do to incentivize the users. Mm -hmm. So explain explain this page to to us. Every, explain everything that's on this page. So you've uploaded your artwork. You've that's on chain. Um, and it, it uh, is on chain. And here you can place a, a bid. So you can, uh, for example, I click on it, and I will have to. Since the price, the beginning price is three dollars. I start with three. Uh, then we can make an offer here. I can say, I want to pay $2, for example. I don't want to pay three. So I make an offer here. And it's going to cost me one cent to do it. But then I can send the, the owner of the auction will have here, like, uh, let's say, uh, a box like this says offer. And then if he accepts it, I will get a buy now button for two dollars, right? If if I make the offer here for two dollars, and is and there it, is there a yeah. time limit on on accepting an offer? No, there is no time that's, limit. That's, okay, that's, so that's open. So so you could have five people make you an offer. Yeah, and, and you the best choose offer. the yeah you choose the one you like to. If you wanna, you don't have to. You, you can say yes. Uh, I want this offer, but uh, these offers are uh, valid only while there are no bids. So, if you didn't mm -hmm. accept the offer when somebody comes and places a bid, then uh, we go on with the auction. Cool. Because it uh, like implies that the offer should be less than uh, uh, buy now price, right? Mm -hmm. So. And then you have another nice thing, I think, it's uh, to comment. You can place a comment, right? So I can say here uh, anything. Nice auction. And then I swipe. And then here I have a comment, right? In the comments, we can see that the users are commenting on your auction. That's Excellent. nice. That's the a nice little in charge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really yeah. have to give a shout out to God in charge. He's a kind of a celeb in uh, Twitch atmosphere, and he's a very gentle and very good spirited guy. I really love him. Yes, shout yes, he chatted me, God. and he, yes. <laughs> I agree. He's uh, he's giving me some feedback, and he's an uh, open guy. I like him. I, uh, he chats me a lot on uh, on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, he he cares about the whole environment, right? Yes. So you see, for example, this one. MetaMaster's trading card. I just make a. I can make an offer here. I don't know. I can say, I will pay uh, eleven dollars. 
All right, just so you to see how it looks. All right, so we get here, say, offer place by me, 11, right? Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, on the other side, uh, if he approves it, he say, okay, I will take $11 instead of 66. Then I will get here a buy now for 11. And then I just click buy now and I get it. That's a really nice little feature. Yes. So where, where, does, the, where does the notification go to? Does it go inside the profile that's on token pal or does it go like does it get sent to an email address or does it get sent to money button? So you so it's uh, basically stored in our database and the owner of the auction will get a notification on the card of the auction. So okay. when he looks at the when he logs in and he looks at this card that's his, he will have like a bell here. Mm -hmm. okay. And that will tell him that there, there are some things going on in his auction. Maybe maybe there are some new offers or new comments. Yeah, that he needs to have a look at. That's cool. So, yeah, and he should have a look. And the same thing is available also, of course, for collections. So, uh, so that these are the new things that we've been working on lately and now the and the last one would be the logging in by google and uh, allowing credit card uh, buying that's a bit more complicated so in the future just for you're gonna um so we can you can pay with bsv but you can also pay with well, visa mastercard credit card as well so that's a, a really it opens yes, up the, the idea yeah yes, yeah the idea would be so, that you you're not logged in you come here to log in and then here you'll have another way of doing with google okay. say google login then you log in with that you still get the wallets free you get everything uh, constructed for you correctly and then you can go to the goat in charge for example and click buy now and then you buy with credit card so at no moment in time you know anything about uh, BSV. No, that's no. huge. That's a really that's big help. step. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for this to happen, we will have to have a let's say um, an understanding with the with the collection owners, so we can uh, automatically wire them the I mean transfer them the money. I don't. We don't want to be uh, somebody that holds the money, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. A money transmitter. We don't want to be a money transmitter. We just want to, to be the middleman, right? So so the, the, the credit card company will directly send the money to your Stripe account, for example. Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, JB has uh, connected his Stripe account with our account then when somebody goes and buys his art then uh, the money will go directly to his account not we we don't uh, even see it we just get our commission and we're out yeah okay and then so and that would be the same for if the artist is, is um uh, using bsv then that, that just goes straight into the, the money button wallet of the, the person that's right yeah yeah so even uh, the bidding, um, so the bidding now it's, uh, let's see, maybe I can show you on a dev system. It's all the, what's interesting about the bidding that every bid is auditable on a blockchain, right? So, and you get a link that where you can see exactly for example, let's try this one. Here, I press a bid. Okay. So now 
we get a link here. Can you see it? And then uh, be yeah, placed. Yeah. And then when I when I click on that, I get the blockchain transaction. Oh, fantastic. Right. So and then when somebody outbids me, then we refund this money from here, and we take the. So it's like an escrow system. We. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. so we, yeah. So we refund the one cent that we receive uh, from uh, here. And we take another the next bid, and we have another bid here with another link. So you can follow all the bids, and also the here the auction wallet. The, when the auction is finished, you can see uh, at any point in time how many satoshis where they are and which wallet and so on. So I think it's very transparent. That's the goal to to be transparent. Yeah. And yeah. And if uh, there is some uh, problem at any point, technical problem, the money, the coins are not lost. They are just in uh, in this wallet, you know, here. So everybody can see where they are. So good. So do you have yeah, any I'm, questions? I'm not an artist um, to have, you know, art that I've tried to sell in the past. So I'm not completely familiar with the current, you know, structures for selling um, that kind of stuff. But I can just imagine this is going to, make it so much easier for people to um you know just share their their passions and profit off of it so then not so many starving artists out there i'm yeah, very eager I, I to so. learn this and put my art in there i really am mm, i'm excited to buy one of your wolves on here corpy so <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I have to hang it in my wolf pup. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah. Rose, can you show? Because I I've got some art on here, and I know how this actually works. Like, but can you can you show, say, Casey, how you would upload? Um, you know, fr from the back end, you go to, uh, say, the the run gallery, and where you would put your information in to upload the art, and how you would actually go about that. Yeah, sure. So if you're, uh, you need a special uh, role to be a partner. And once we give you this role, you can go to manage collections. And then here you can uh, create your own collection. So as an artist, you will create how many collections you want, basically. And if you click create collection, you can give it a name. You can say. You say Brillo and Energy. Brilliant. You no, but to you have to do with, we have to do it. No, no. You have to do it with your own account so it doesn't show up as an, in my account. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would yeah. call it. Yeah, that's good. Because then you can also modify it later and you have control over it, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So, and then here we just upload the, uh, put any picture. We have, I don't know. And um, so, is there a file? No, there's no file size limit, is there? Because it's actually going on chain. No, this one is not going on chain. This one is just okay. in our database. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't need to put everything on chain to make it. Uh, then we make it uh, too complicated. So this one is just a collection. We updated this auction duration in minutes. So here you can customize your auction duration. So for example, you just want. Uh, each auction to last 10 minutes, okay. right? You can do it. Normally, uh, default uh, time is uh, 48 hours. But that's brilliant because you could actually be doing a live stream and have a live auction yeah. while you're doing your live stream and set it for 10 minutes and people can bid while you're actually doing a live stream. That's fast. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, a and bit like he... the shopping network. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but it's uh, it's interactive. That's the whole fun. So you, and you can also start in the middle of your stream. You can start uh, create your collection fast, set it to five minutes, and then put a few auctions in there. That's all. Right? Oh, we are gonna have so much fun with so this. Fun with that. Yep. <laughs> and, and and then here you have another field. It says increment. So uh, here you set up how many dollars you want to have the increment for each bid. 
Oh, right. So, like, if you, you, you can automatically bid up 50p each time if you press the button sort of thing, or 50 quid. Yeah, if you say one uh, is one dollar, so if you say uh, $10 is $10, basically, you don't want to people to bid uh, one cent. You just want them to bid 10, 20, 30, 40, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so, or one dollar, they bid one by one. And then you just uh, we click Confirm. And here I have my my test collection, right? Okay. And uh, and then uh, when I create my uh, auction, here I will choose my test collection. My test collection, right? And then uh, the, any auction created that uh, when I choose the collection, then you will be uh, assigned to that collection, basically. Okay. okay. This is. So awesome. Yeah. So I think I think this can have a lot of uh, applicability uh, in different areas because you can customize it how you want it. Mm -hmm. And this also allows us to go to to customize for the gallery or for the artist. Maybe we can add other other interesting things in here in the collection. We can add the, also the payment details for the credit card. We can add other things in here. Not this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. So if if anybody's using using Token Pal and they've got any feedback for you of suggested ideas, then how can they get in touch with you, Raz? Uh, you can get in touch with me on Twitter, or you can send me an email to tokenpal at protonmail.com. So it's Token Pal on Twitter and Token Pal at protonmail.com. Yeah, mm -hmm. or you just uh, DM me on Twitter on a token power account. Cool. And uh, I'm pretty good at responding uh, unless, uh, you know, I'm in holidays or something. But normally I respond uh, in a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's how you, call, you create your collection. Um, this this looks have like a... it's come on a lot since we last saw it, actually. Have you been making a lot of changes? Yes, yes, uh, we've been working. So <laughs> we're trying to now. Uh, the big thing is to improve the user experience. We're trying to do that, and I think uh, the last thing to do and the most difficult is this uploading uh, files on chain. We need to we need to do it uh, much better than this. Oh yeah, I must admit it's quite a slow process at the moment for certain size files. It depends on the size of the file. Obviously, the smaller the size file is is a quicker process. Um, yeah, and it's also not. I don't like the fact that uh, we are basically sending our users to uh, another website, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. because some users they go here and they not necessarily not everybody realizes this is not our website. Yeah, and, and it's not. If it fails, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I was if something say, goes wrong, if something goes wrong, uh, I feel responsible now because the user went here because we told them to go there, right? So I don't like that. <laughs> I'm actually so. having a bit of an issue myself. I've been trying to upload uh, a file of ours to to create an NFT, and uh, it's got to propagate at eighty seven percent of data and stopped, and I. It seemed like a sort of a rate limiting problem, like it was trying to send out too many transactions or you know how it sends out a, a series of very small transactions when you're yeah, trying to upload a big six, file. Six cents broken down into about 143 different file sections. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's doing that anymore, but maybe but it is. So. How do you propose to get around that then, Raz? What's the, what's the solution? I mean, I'm not a developer, so I, I, I'm quite... We have, to, we have to do it ourselves, basically. So, yeah. so find a way to... We have to... to, to, to yes, we have to provide, basically, uh, like in the collection, the idea is just like this. You go to... You just provide a button like this, and the user chooses the, the file, and don't care anymore, you know. Click yeah. okay, I mean, and that's it should it. be oh, easier than it was, because a couple of years ago it was a question of having to break the file into lots of little parts, wasn't it? Yeah. To put yes. them in the up return. But yeah. now you can use what is it you use now? Up oh, something else. Bitcoin files too. Bitcoin files. Oh, does that okay? So Bitcoin Media still breaks it down because I did one a bit back, um, 
it, the video yeah, it does, but they don't need to anymore, video. I don't think. <laughs> Maybe so you can try with a very small file in uh, Bitcoin files and see if uh, you get the transaction ID you can use. Not so uh, far. But not, not don't try with the like... video. Try with something small, like you don't have to pay three euros or something. Yeah. Just something for a few cents to just to try, you know. Me... I can also try, but do you have anything, have... Case? Do I you... started my account. I could share my screen and you could walk me through. Um, see if we yeah, can. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Do, you it do that? That's okay. So, so you've actually opened an account in token file as we've been talking to Razlan. And I signed in with my money button. So it looks like it's ready. I was, um, let me go ahead and share my screen then. There we go. I have a lot of tabs open, but. So yeah, this is my, can you guys see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. This is uh, how far I got just listening to everything we've done so far. So would I go here to uh, create an NFT? Yes, you can create the two types. You have the run NFT and the money button NFT. Should we do it on run or money button? Which one do you guys think? Yeah, money, let's like let's start with the money button because yeah. it's the most the easiest. The money button easiest. Okay. So, uh, so would this be my name or the name yeah. of the collection then? Name of the NFT. Yeah. Okay. So. Yes, a few simple things like that, uh, Raz, would be really good. It should yeah, be like will, NFT name. I know it's I will obvious take to notes, you. Actually, I always take notes because uh, this is a uh, gold for me, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, it's always like, what we think is really simple is actually quite hard for people who don't know. Who don't yeah, know exactly. If you sometimes you're too deep into something that you don't realize is not easy. Mm. Oh, so what? <laughs> Oh, so how far? How 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 many can you go to then? Three hundred and thirty-three. Is it just high? Oh no, this is money button. Uh, yeah, you can put three hundred thirty-three if you want. Okay. On, uh, on Rodney's thirty-three. You could, you could put limit. a thousand oh, into money button, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, you can put whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's up to you guys. I just was gonna do this to kind of play with it, but. Um... Yeah, just do it to play. Yeah, it's fine. So, uh, what should we the description say then? What's the image? Uh, I don't know. Well, do you click on this to be able to get into the? There. Just don't publish it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would be. Okay. <Yeah>. Kinda. <laughs> so preview. Yeah. Did you want to put a description in? Yeah, it's okay, should. she can do it a thousand times. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, create asset. Yeah. What is this SFP down there? This is a protocol, a money button protocol. Okay. And now you have it there. You can click modify if you want and add description if you want. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. And if you don't want to modify it, you just do mint hit back yeah okay and then and then click mint um is this gonna mean for real uh, yeah, yeah. You, make, you make three three tokens yeah but it's it's hers now this in in this money button account casey account you're gonna have the yeah, so now you go click back. Mm -hmm. Go I check your money button account. Um, you should have it because it is not uh, in. Uh, this is not in token power. The the token should be in money button now. So it should be in your assets. It's Yay! Totally yeah, yeah, he's there. Okay. So now, how do you share that? You so would... you now you can send to whoever you want. Look, you have send button there. You can send it. Send Corpi. <laughs> See the amount. <laughs> we'll do three. three is this is uh, like a movie Inception. You, you... Two. And then so. there, Corpi. Corpi. At moneybutton.com. Awesome. Yay. Three tokens. Ooh. 
cool. And then you can send those out too, right? Yep. She can, yeah, she can. Cool. But you still have 300 and uh, something left, right? 330, yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 330, yeah. So but, it uh, says zero. A... There's no like value to them at all then. How's that? How does that go up? It's as they yeah, the money button doesn't know what value. To give it a value, you need to put it for sale in a marketplace and then you see what the value is. How do you do that? Go to start. Okay. And then uh, you give it a title for your auction and then you choose, uh, yeah. Okay. Early on energy, um, NFT. Team, team photo, NFT. Yeah, team, okay. Go a bit lower and you choose the this one the, yeah the row yeah choose that one the row mm -hmm. yeah then go lower mm. you have to select the row yeah like that quantity how many of the tokens you want to auction how many you want 330 okay all of them price per auction per per token um i don't know what do you guys think three dollars <laughs> I, 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 I imagine I think this site always goes people just pulling numbers out of their ass. Three hundred and thirty three dollars thirty three. Three hundred and thirty three dollars each. If you're really gonna publish this, we shouldn't do it like this. It, we really have to think it through. Yeah, you don't have to yeah. do it now. This is just an example. Yes, it's uh, it's a very um, sensitive market. You want to yes. launch correctly? Yeah. No, I, yes. I am with you there. But I still think this is um, extremely valuable education here. So, yeah. Yeah. Should we put it just, um, okay, buy now. Then, then you, can, you can do it and then you can close your auction and then it's fine. Nobody gets hurt. <laughs> Mm, okay. <laughs> oh, so you mean so you can run it at that okay. price in this auction, and then you can put it at a different price later in a different auction. So yeah, you can just uh, make an auction. Uh, it has a lifetime, you know, so you can uh, yeah. just close it after five minutes if you decide that I don't want to sell my uh, NFT anymore. No, so so the, one, the one I made a mistake on because I put, I uploaded a photo. I, I uploaded two. Um, one I put like a starting price. Which actually was an end price, if that makes sense. It's collectible, right? Oh, yeah. Starting price, uh, mm. yeah, collectible. Put it as collectible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and ah, you can put it in your test uh, collect. Uh, no, you don't have a. Ah, you can put it in that. Uh, ah, you don't have the role. Okay, it's fine. So um, next, if you want to write here details, but we're just playing now. So next. All okay. right. Next. Next. Go a bit lower. This is show you how the card will look like. Oh, cool. Current bid yeah. is not for all of them then? Yeah, because you put the price uh, for one token 3.33, so you have 300. So yeah, it's 1,000 something. Okay. Cool. Create Three auction. Options. Go to auctions now. Click on the button. Ah, uh, so let me see. I have to approve it. I think. Oh, okay. Hi, right, this is another thing that uh, I have to approve it because. Uh, it's curated. You know, I wanna, uh, yeah, I wanna know uh, what are people are putting up. I don't want people to add something that's dangerous, for example. It's a good point that actually, and that seems to be a trend, doesn't it, of having curated collections? It's, Especially it's if not it's, just it's a free. Cool. Yeah, yeah, because it can be uh, damaging uh, for your reputation to have something, uh, mm. no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very good. But this is a good point, though. So if you if you create an auction and it doesn't go live immediately, it's because it's waiting in the queue to be 
given the, the green light. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And don't upload anything dodgy. Yes. <laughs> Not friendly for work, home, or children. <laughs> I mean, this can also be a bit problematic because you need a bit of manual work, right, to, to have somebody approving all the time. But mm -hmm. if 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 uh, the the role of the um, let's say the the user is partner, then uh, it doesn't go to approval. Mm. Right. So if you become a, so if you become a partner. If Razvan seems you de deems you worthy of being a partner, then you Razvan would not need to create create to approve you every time. Yeah. Yeah. So he trusts you as an artist to be able to upload art that he would approve on the site. There it is, I approved it. Amazing. So now we can go inside, go inside the auction. And yeah, you can take a look. So and, then uh, if you click on a picture, it goes. Uh, yeah, you can share it. You can mm -hmm. click on a picture, it goes full screen. You know. Very cool. So when it says the reserve price a thousand ninety eight dollars, Razan, it doesn't. It's not breaking it down into the per token price, is it? No, with money button, uh, that's what's special because they have uh, tokens. So you ask how many tokens you want to sell, 330, and then you ask you how was the price per token, and it was 3.33. So that's 1,098.90 in total. Because you yeah. sell them all, you are selling 330 tokens in this right. case. Okay. Look at the quantity, 330 yeah, yeah, tokens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But when people buy, they can choose to buy one. No, no, now they have to buy the whole they bunch. They have but to you buy can, the whole lot. Yeah. Ah. But then you can I'm also, saying. yeah, you can also sell uh, just one if you want. So, I how see. I see. So, now, this is really important to know because I feel yeah. I get that wrong. If I mm -hmm. stop sharing now and one of you guys share and go buy one and show that process, do you want to do that? Uh, yeah, if you like. Um, let me think. Stop sharing. Uh, I'm showing my screen now. So if I go to the, the home page, then I can find the auction here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I can place, oh, I, mm, if I place a bid, it wants reserve price 1098. So yeah, I can yes, make that's... an offer. So how much make an would offer, I like yeah, to make pay? an offer, yeah. I think it's interesting. Make an offer, that's good. One dollar. Sorry, Casey. It's okay. okay. And now you oh, have to go to thirty three? No. Now you have to go to your account and approve it. So to let's say see. you accept the offer. I have to go and do it? Okay. So well, because if you uh, having yeah, said that though, I'm not sure you should approve it. Um <laughs> given that I, I'm just buying the whole lot, job lot, for a dollar. I'm sorry, but I was too fast. But if, if if Casey can share her screen, we can see where, where she would approve it. She can, she can not allow it, but... So shall I stop sharing? Yeah, can Kay, Casey, can you share your screen? Yep. You're a very patient man, Razvan. <laughs> no, but the, the, it, I do think this is valuable Approve, because these are like yeah, rookie errors <laughs> that we didn't realize we were making, which is offering the whole lot for auction. Oh, I'm going to yeah. take yours, Corby. You know, <laughs> you, yeah, and, and you might assume that that people would be able to buy them one at a time, even though you're putting all them all at the sale. Right? But what That's you're true. saying is this, yeah. is this is a lot. Yeah. Like, a single lot. Exactly, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's that's you have to be very careful as the the artist whether or not you're selling everything in one batch or if you're selling it yeah. as an individual. Especially if you sell it for a really low price. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. This actually this is actually amazing for um I'm speaking as a artist from I know, you know, since I was two years old and this is something that I needed my whole life. 
Mm. And now, <laughs> thank you, Razvan. You are. Yeah, you're welcome. Fighting. Yeah, I hope I can help you with the business as well. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's hope uh, we're gonna be successful, all of us. Yeah, that's the goal. All of us to mm -hmm. succeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Have you ever considered uh, creating a white label version of this, Razvan, so that you know uh, other people can run your back end with their, you know, their own gallery? Because I would have thought that would, there'd be, you know, mileage in that as well. Yeah, it's an interesting idea, actually. Mm. Mm, the tech behind it, uh, it's a bit uh, complicated, so... Do we need one with a women of beer fever? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> we get our website up and running. We can do that. But I think yeah, it's it's a good idea. I think it could be done. Um, so we we uh, basically provide the back end and the front end uh, can be any anything, right? Like so, yeah, sort of software and, as a service yeah. type thing, and then we could style sheet the, the you know style sheet it to match all of our colors and stuff. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. Actually, uh, at this moment in time, uh, tech tech wise, we don't have a server. We have just some, uh, let's say, processes that uh, go live and they die, right? Mm -hmm. So you make a request, uh, the function basically goes alive, does the business uh, problem, and then it goes to sleep again. So you don't pay for it, right? In a cloud. Right. So. So basically, what what it means that uh, this is a one front end token power, but it can be another front end that accesses the same function. Oh, I see. That's even better. Yeah. Yeah. So the the API to access uh, for the same functionality is there. It just there are probably some technical details like authorization and uh, you know how to actually do it in a proper way. But I think we're not so far for being able to offer the back end. I mean, I think if, in a way, um, what's it called, Fa FabricX? What is the new yeah. NFT gallery? That yeah. is yeah, Fabric effectively, X. presumably, what they're doing because they're getting curators, aren't they? Yes. So they have their own galleries. So that is presumably exactly what they're doing. And it'll presumably be logoed up or whatever to represent whoever the curator is. Mm. Yeah, I think they're also they shooting, uh, let's say, for the upscale market in the uh, United States, like uh, more like mm. uh, oriented yeah, towards the sports, sports yeah. teams and celebrities and. King Kardashian. I mean, it's it's yeah, the Kardashians of the world. I don't know. <laughs> so it all depends what kind of connections you have and what uh, what kind of uh, audience you can reach. Mm, mm. Yeah. But I bet there's a heck of a market for people to have their own galleries. If you think about how difficult it is to run a real gallery yeah, I mean, versus you think how about... automated this would be, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah but you... it could be, uh, for example, uh, you have a collection, but there, there is no reason why we cannot customize, for example, the front end for your collection to look exactly mm. how you want it to look with your colors. So mm. once you go in your collection, you you see the world how you want to see it, right? Mm, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, I don't know if you notice, you also have a QR code. Yeah. So so you can share the QR code of your collection to everybody. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then they don't go da directly to Token Power. They go directly to your collection. So they don't yeah. even have to know about us. They so only know about like you. Sort of like microsites within the main site. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Excellent. So do you get two QR codes on? One that would take you to the main collection page and then one that takes you to the actual physical auction? That's right, yeah. You can also share the QR code for your physical auction or your, for your auction, right? And and then uh, the people that you share, they go directly to that auction. They don't care about other things. Going so again, through. you could do, for example, we could do on one of our live streams, we could do a, a like a prize giveaway and it's like whoever gets to the QR code first and show the QR code. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, yeah you could work. do that, yeah. Yeah. And then pre whoever press the buy now fast, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's like haste to press the button the fastest you, you win the prize. Yes. Now, this is a question that we've had, um, Diddy and I, because we, we made these MP4 mm -hmm. run tokens mm. a couple of weeks back. Um, 
are they can they be transferred out into anywhere else to any other kind of wallet yet for example yes, yes can. you can you can transfer them or any kind of uh, to relax wallet or whatever okay. tick but see, the we, problem is you cannot see them right because we tried that <laughs> and they never okay. seem to turn up Okay. Yeah. Yes. So why, why can't you see it? What, you can. Well, there, there is some, uh, let's say, uh, different uh, interest uh, around, and oh, they don't uh, want to be compatible. Uh, maybe they don't want to show token power NFTs, and uh, I think this will all go away in the future. You no, know, everybody. I mean, this should be an yeah. open world where we send the NFTs wherever we want because the users want want that, right? The users want yeah. to be able to create an NFT in token power and send it to Relax. Yeah. yeah. And vice versa it, too. Users it, from Relax want to send to token power and make auctions in token power because yeah. maybe there is uh, like let's say uh, easier to see things in token power than in Relax, where it's just uh, too much volume there. I don't know. Have you spoke to Liam, who is the product uh, manager at RelayX? Uh, no, I, I had some conversation with Jack on uh, on Twitter, but and he seems uh, like open to to business. But I think they're very busy lately with this uh, Gopnit thing, and we I think probably we can arrange something in the future. You know the Gopnit stuff. Oh yeah, we yeah, know all the In fact, the thing about Gopi is more than sense. you know that I know. <laughs> you know okay. more than you want to know. <laughs> Gopi's got her own face on hers. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually getting a um, honorary. Um, what was the name? Um, uh, the generic stuff. The how's it called? I actually, uh, gen I actually gen already have one Genesis. Oh, cool. Company. And then I'm getting an honorary uh, legacy one because nice. I'm so That's involved crazy. with them. And I actually talked to Claudia and we are getting like friends already. So, yeah, they are very cool people. Awesome. Yes, good. Con congratulations. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> just have to. We have Sorry. to. Go ahead. What, who's running it, Corby? Um, there's uh, three that I know of. Mm -hmm. um, Alex and Mihai and Claudia. But I don't know if they want their names to be published. Oops. So, <laughs> so uh, we might have to cut that <laughs> off. Okay. But uh, I'm we getting have to the interview a, a... from Claudia very soon like in before our live feed and uh, yeah it's very interesting it's it's uh, the floor is rising and falling and rising and falling and it's very alive i say the marketing that they did was phenomenal that's what I was going to say. We have to take a page out of their playbook yeah. for launching our stuff because it was great. Yeah. yeah. We need I a need wrap. Corby, make us a wrap, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. The I, know. Wrap. I saw and that. They, they haven't oh. even had their uh, auction yet. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is just like they Pre just put them yeah. out there and they haven't even put their auction yet. So. No. It's amazing, but yeah, let's continue with our official. I'm confused. <laughs> so what you're saying is that they've done a pre-sale and now they're going to have an auction. Uh, yeah. It wasn't a pre-sale, but the auction will be, um, the total supply was 3,000 Gobniks. And this is not official. Let's cut this off. But... Uh, yeah, official was 3,000 Gobniks, and then there's 35 Genesis ones that they're going to split in half. And I got one because I attended to this competition and won the third prize. So I have one, and... 
the other half will go to the auction and that will mark the price of the Genesis ones. And that will actually mark the price of the whole series of Gopniks. And we are all just waiting for that to happen. It's it's amazing what they have done. It's amazing. Guys, Did you get I'm, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to go in a minute. Did this uh, video should, we, should we close it up and talk about the Gopniks later? Yeah. Yeah, probably Is should. Is there anything else that we need to know on the site at all from Roswell? Okay. Anything else? Have we got everything so, that we need? And Any as I said, any anytime you want, uh, you can contact me. Or you need to, you have some issue, just contact me. Okay. okay well, thank you me. very much. I really appreciate that. Yeah. We do I really will... appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm really impressed at the thank speed that we're building it out at as well. I think that's... Uh, it's really coming along fast, isn't it? Yes, we are working uh, every week. We, we don't make so much noise like others. We, yeah, we yeah, need to yeah. improve our marketing. <laughs> well, that's, no, well, that's a good point. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you, the people who are, who are exhibiting their stuff on there will market you as well, including us. So, mm -hmm. All right. Well, look, I'm, yeah. I'm going to have to... We'll, we'll get this video out about yeah, no, that was really, really helpful. And uh, we, I, I'm not sure, but I don't think um, Beco Media has played ball with me today. It's, it's got stuck at 80% of the data. So I don't know, I'm going to have to do that again some other time. But Raj, um, you, we'll get you, there. Sorry, I mean to interrupt. But I was just wondering if you are um, have any thoughts about implementing like a referral link for people that are sharing Token Pow um, with large audiences or... Lots of people. Do you have any um, intention to put anything like that in there for inviting people? Or yeah, uh, yeah, we're thinking about it. I'm thinking about it, but uh, I need to find a uh, let's say a practical way of doing it. Mm -hmm. like sort of like the link to well. sort of like the link to share the auction, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. in this case would be a link to for new users. So for example, yeah, okay. I give you a link, and if they come with this link then uh, you can get some percentage of their sales, for example. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that's kind of, I know, with Learn to Earn and, and with the Take Your Brand to the Blockchain, yeah. that's the main focus is just finding the artist and inviting them to the MetaNet. And this is one of the most awesome platforms to, ex you know, and give them an introduction to. So just curious. I uh, really appreciate the platforms that are doing that for people that just want to help you know, spread the awareness and education of this um, whole new world that's being built here. So um, just just had to ask. Yes, no, it's a very good question. And we want to do something like this because this, I think, can be huge in terms of bringing uh, new users. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the and incentives the are so awesome for, you know, people that are just trying to create uh, yeah. sustainability and, and stuff for ourselves. So yeah, and then it has to be, uh, you know, self-interest, you know, nobody mm -hmm. does stuff for nothing. So we need to be, uh, like, everybody needs to win something. So well, and it's I a way agree. for people that aren't really artists to still, you know, help yeah. share your platform and engage with it and, you know, help propel it. Just, you know, I don't really have art and stuff to be uploading necessarily, but I would absolutely love to drive lots of traffic to you guys. So, mm -hmm. yeah, very good point. Thank you for bringing it up. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for thinking that's about doing it for golden, us. Uh, that's how I get my golden uh, nuggets, you know, the <laughs> great ideas. Mm -hmm. Well, this is it. And watching us bumble around in your site as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm making awesome. notes, you know. I was uh, <laughs> making notes and it was great for me. <laughs> oh, no, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Well, look, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna hit end broadcast now. Thank you so yep. much. Thank you very much. Thank you very for much. Was yep. Thank you very much. And uh, yep. I'm sure we'll speak again soon. Mm -hmm. I look forward Thank to you. it. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you.